All right, so I just wanted to give a quick update on the situation with my late 2012 iMac. Uh, I did a video uh, a few weeks ago regarding some shutdown issues I was having that was the result of a, uh, or suspected to be the result of a power supply. It's a pretty widely documented issue, specifically on late 2012 i7 machines. So I did go ahead and I bought the Light On brand replacement power supply, which was uh, recommended by many people in the Apple support forums as a good replacement for the uh, seemingly defective or poorly manufactured uh, Delta brand. Um, sure enough, what I removed from this computer was the Delta brand power supply, uh, and it was replaced with the Light On one, and now the system is working perfectly. Uh, I quickly wanted to just go over uh, uh, the actual replacement process. So the most difficult part of this task by far is removing the screen. Uh, that screen is on really good. And I bought the uh, uh, kit from iFixit that came with the removal tool uh, and a couple of the cards to uh, keep the adhesive up. Uh, however, I still really, really struggled to get that screen off. Um, I felt like I had to apply an undesirable amount of force uh, lifting the screen and you start to see the screen flex and it's, it's, uh, it's frightening when, you, when you're dealing with such a large, heavy piece of glass. Uh, so once I got the screen off of the system, uh, everything else was really straightforward and not complicated for anyone who's ever done any type of PC repair before. Uh, there were just a few tools I needed. Everything went pretty smooth. Uh, a couple little things with the, the ribbon cables are very thin and very delicate, uh, and, and you do have to be very careful with them. Uh, but other than that, everything did go very smoothly. Uh, everything, uh, the instructions uh, from iFixit were very easy to follow. Uh, ultimately, uh, putting everything back together uh, there was one thing that I would do differently if I were to do it again, and that would be investing and purchasing in the iMac service wedge from iFixit. Uh, I did not purchase the service wedge because I didn't think it was important. Uh, however, when it came to putting the screen back on, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's a very heavy, awkward piece of glass. And when you have your iMac laying down on a desk like I did, uh, you are uh, basically fighting it every step of the way when you try to put it back on. You're, you're, you're literally at an upward angle. Uh, everything is backwards of what it should be. And what ended up happening on this system when I put the screen back on, and you can't see it in this video, uh, I'll, I'll maybe show a picture of it, but uh, there is just a very, 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 very subtle, uh, I'd say less than a millimeter uh, gap as you start to get to the edge here uh, and you can very very slightly feel it if I run my hand across the top of the screen uh, I can feel that the glass is just a touch higher uh, and that was absolutely because I was uh, fighting against it trying to push it into place uh, as opposed to the weight setting it into place uh, which it would if the computer was upright at the time that I put the glass on. Uh, everything went smooth. Uh, removing the old adhesive is, uh, is very easy. Uh, I, I was expecting I'd be scraping and pulling, but uh, the way the adhesive is designed, it, it just all pulled off in strips. The new one went on very easy. I had a little trouble with some of the uh, adhesive protective strips from the iFixit kit, uh, specifically the ones for the bottom of the screen. For whatever reason, uh, it was just very difficult to get those to peel off because when I try to peel off one side, it would basically be pulling off the adhesive on the other side, uh, and it just it made it a little awkward. But other than that, it really was a smooth process. Uh, if I did it again, I'd get the service wedge, and it would be a really, really easy, simple process, uh, with the only challenge being getting off that screen. One thing I would also do if I did it again in the future is I'd probably take uh, a deck of cards and just put playing cards around the whole screen to try to help uh, prevent that adhesive from re-adhering uh, once the tool passes through it. But I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy. Uh, there's a link below to the part that I ordered on Amazon. I did not buy the power supply from iFix and I want to ensure that I got the light on one. Uh, and I, uh, uh, I also put a link to the iFixit kit that is available uh, with the parts that you need to put the screen back on. Uh, again, hope this helps someone. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.